Hello and welcome to a tutorial with me, Trionus. Uh, today I'm going to try and help you add more memory and or gigabytes into your Minecraft, your Minecraft mods and into Java. <laughs> uh, now before I begin I just want to say that if you follow these make sure that you have a note of your old settings because obviously if they don't work you'll need to put them back to the original ones and hopefully try again. Also if your computer decides to crash or blow up or anything like that, again you decided to follow this, it's not my fault, I'm just trying to help out, okay? So with that little stupid lot out of the way, it's a silly thing to say but I think it might be wise for me to say it just in case. But uh, also, <coughs> I'm probably not an expert, okay? If you know better than me, feel free to leave a comment, you know. I will more than happily learn something new, okay? If you know a better way of doing this, or if you think I'm doing something wrong, you know, let me know. I don't care. I'm happy to learn off someone that knows better than me. Uh, alternatively, if you like what I've done, and you need any help, again, leave a comment, and I will try to get back to you, and I will try to help you as much as I can. So, uh, and sorry, lastly, I need to mention this. I'm using Windows 7. If uh, you are using Windows 8, I don't know how to use that system or that operating system, and you may need to look some things up yourself. If you're, if you're also using a Mac, again, I have never used a Mac before. I don't know what I'm doing with them, so you will have to look this up as well. Uh, however, if you're using Windows 7 or below, then stick around. Hopefully, I can help you out. So, the first thing that you need to do is look at how much memory or gigabytes you have on or in your computer. So, the best way to do that is by using the My Computer icon or computer on the top, normally located on the top left hand corner. Uh, you, all you need to do is right click on it and go down to where it says properties and left click on there. Here you have a little bit of a screen that tells you all about your computer and here is what you're looking for directly. Installed memory slash and RAM. I've got 16 gigabytes on my computer. You may have lower, you may have higher than me. So make note of how much you've got and uh, hopefully we won't have any problems. Okay, so that's easy enough to find. You can get rid of that. And I'm going to start off with Vanilla Minecraft. This is probably one of the easiest ones to do. Uh, and you double click it and open the launcher. Okay, once the launcher is up, up and running, uh, what you need to do is actually locate the profile. So this is normally located on the bottom left and it's got no profile or edit profile. So what you want to do is left click on edit profile. So this is the information that you will actually have. And right down on the bottom you will have this, the JVM arguments. So this is normally grayed out, which is why I just grayed it out so I could show you properly. And you need to left click on the box to get your tick and that is when you can have access to this. Now from here down, you can ignore. You don't need to touch that at all. It's this here that you need to touch. It's just the number. Normally it would probably say 1G when it's grayed out, so it'd probably look more like that than anything else. Okay, so if you've got uh, 16 gigabytes like me, uh, for vanilla Minecraft, I like to put in 4 gigabytes because sometimes I like to do worlds which are amplified and I also sometimes like to use texture packs, high, high resolution texture packs. Obviously if your computer only has 4 gigabytes in it or lower, uh, put 2 gigabytes into it and then you should be able to run a default world with some low res texture packs and you should have too much trouble at all. Uh, obviously if your system's only got two gigabytes in it then leave it as it is and just stick with default texture packs and a normal default world. Okay so I'm just going to put that to four gigabytes and I'm going to save my profile. That's the only reason why I put more memory into vanilla so I can run the amplified worlds if I want to or the high definition 
high definition, high resolution uh, texture packs. Okay, so we can get rid of that one. The next one I'm going to show you is the Feed the Beast launcher. Okay, so we can double click that and get that launcher up and running. Right, okay, there's the launcher for the Feed the Beast. Uh, what you need to look for on these tabs at the top is the Options tab. To add more memory into the mod packs in this case, not necessarily into Minecraft, into mod packs, you use this slider which they provided, which I absolutely hate because it is really annoying, uh, and you can lower it or increase it again. If you are running mod packs, uh, it is really recommended, not just by me, uh, to have no more and no less than 4 gigabytes into it, obviously, depending on your system. You may not be able to do that because obviously, if you, again, if you've only got 4 gigabytes yourself, uh, you might still be able to run mods, but you need to look more for the light or smaller mods out there. Okay, uh, so this only adds memory into the mod pack itself. To add more memory into Java using this launcher, you need to go into the advanced options. Here, you will have this line called additional Java parameters. And then you need to make note of that there. I've also got it in the bottom right hand corner, so it will also be in my screen. But this one says at the back here, uh, 128M, mine here says 4G. Now the 128 is megabytes, the 4G that I've got is 4 gigabytes. Okay, so you need to just alter the 128 to again whatever gigabytes you could have in your computer. Again, if okay, sorry about this. If you've got 4 gigabytes in your computer, you can't put 4 gigabytes into Java and 4 gigabytes into the Minecraft mods. That just won't work. Uh, you would need to put two gigabytes into your mods and only one gigabyte into or maybe 1.5 gigabytes into uh, Java. That's because you've got to remember that your computer will always have something running in the background. Mostly the Windows operating system itself. So that's why you can only do that. Okay. So we'll get rid of that and that will save all your settings and you just click it off and it will automatically save. So that's the Feed the Beast launcher. The next one is the AT launcher, my favourite launcher, normally where I get a lot of my playthroughs from. So here we go with this one. Okay, nice and easy to load that one up, it's fairly fast. Uh, so here you have the tabs on the right hand side and you're looking for the one that says settings. Then you'll have these tabs at the top and you're looking for the Java slash Minecraft. Okay, so here you will need to look for maximum memory slash RAM, and this time it's in megabytes, not gigabytes. So you need to know uh, how many megabytes are in a gigabyte. So I'll just quickly give you a quick tutorial. Uh, one, two, one, zero, two, four is one gigabyte. Two, zero, four, eight is two gigabytes. Three, seven, two. 3072 even, <laughs> 3 gigabytes, and 4096 is 4 gigabytes. Okay, so you select how much you want to do there. Uh, again, here we are, the perm gen size, just as we did in Feed the Beast. You've got it here, but this time instead of putting the 4G or anything like this, again, you need to know the megabytes. Uh, AT launcher does come equipped again to show you exactly what you can do, so you just put in same number that you can put there. Uh, again, if you're running 4 gigabytes, you probably need to put this to 2048 and then put that to uh, 1024. Okay, so that should help with there. Just click save and your settings are saved and you are ready to go on that launcher. Okay, the last launcher that I'm going to do, as these are the main ones to, uh, that most people use, is the AT launcher. So we'll just load that launcher up and we'll see what we've got. So here we go with this launcher. Now this one's a little bit different. Obviously, I mean they're all different, but this one's a little bit more different. The settings that you need to look for is this little cog up in the top right hand corner. Hopefully you can see that clearly enough. So just left click on that and the thing that you're looking for is memory here 
and you can alter this one's in gigabytes again so you can alter this one and all you do is select which one you want again I'm going for the four gigabytes and click save the thing about the Technic launcher it is the only one that I know of that actually does Java and the Minecraft and the Minecraft mods in one go like the vanilla Minecraft okay so that really concludes this quick tutorial I hope that you found it informative like I said at the beginning if you do know a better way of doing it or I might have missed something do let them know do let me know and uh, hopefully other people can learn as well if uh, you need any help again leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can but if you did enjoy this video and you want to like to see more or if you'd like to go and watch some of my let's plays on Minecraft do feel free but uh, do remember that like button it does really help me and uh, that's really it for today so thank you very much for joining me and I will see you next time goodbye